Six million people signed up for Obamacare. Did a miracle happen when the president was at the Vatican? Numbers don't lie, right? Well, they do when they're coming from this crowd. Here to break down fact from fiction in the numbers game, the author of Beating Obamacare 2014, Betsy McCoy. Betsy, do you believe the six million number? Well, there's a big difference between selected. The administration said six million people selected a plan. Big difference between selecting and paying. And although the Secretary of Broken Promises, Kathleen Sebelius, won't tell us how many people have actually paid, the data we have from state exchanges indicates that in some of those states, a third haven't paid, and on the federal exchange, as many as 20% haven't paid. Plus, we don't know how many of these alleged 6 million had insurance or how many were just forced into Obamacare. Well, in fact, only a very small portion were uninsured. Uh, McKinsey company survey suggests that about 23% were uninsured. So what do we have, bottom line, Judge? Net, net, we have absolutely no increase in the number of people with private health insurance. It appears from all this data that the hardship millions have gone through and the billions, many billions spent on this startup and there is no net improvement. It's a wash between people who have gained insurance Can and those who have lost it. Can you prove that, Betsy? I'm just looking at the numbers. The fact is somewhere between five and six million people have lost their plans, right? Many of those have been forced onto the exchange to sign up for plans they really don't want but they have no alternative. And we know that six million have selected plans but only between four and five million have paid. Okay, the, this newest delay now, another delay, um, says that those who need insurance, all they need to do is check a box on the website and pay later if they feel like it. Who That's operates right. a business like well, this, the Secretary, especially Secretary, one sixth of the American economy. You're quite right, but Secretary Sebelius told Congress just a few days ago, absolutely there will be no extension of the deadline. Well, this a deadline is from here to eternity, Judge, and it's going to just hobble along. But, but you know what, I'll, I'll tell you, I, I'm just so used to their deadlines. I mean, what, they don't say what they mean or Look, mean what they say. But here's the thing. How do you say just check a box and we'll put you on the truth system? That's right. There, it, it means there is no deadline. And health reform, as you see it now, bears literally very little resemblance to this law as passed in 2010. And you will see the White House continue to improvise from now until the election, changing, lopping off parts of the law, extending parts of the law, distorting parts of the law to suit their immediate political needs. Yes, and as Father Murray just said, I mean, you know, the fact that the religious freedom is something that's not even, and the contraceptive mandate is not even in there in requiring the religious institutions and to And this do, election to will be a referendum on this law. Well, yeah, certainly the mid-terms uh, mid are going to reflect that. Anyway, Betsy, it's always good to have you Thank here. You. Thank you, Betsy McCoy. All right, coming up, they did it again. The same zoo that murdered a healthy giraffe a few weeks ago now slaughters an entire lion family. My message for them is next. And it's your last chance to vote in tonight's Insta poll. What should happen to the zoo that killed a giraffe and now slaughtered a family of lions? Facebook or tweet me at Judge Janine.